Hello YouTube, this is Dragonzilla here, and today I'm coming with you with a thoughts and opinions video on something that's related to NECA. So, ever since Kong Skull Island came out back in 2017, we have often wondered whether or not NECA will inquire the license to make a figure of King Kong, due to the whole copyright uh, state over the character, it's very complicated. And it looks like in September 2020, we will finally be getting a King Kong figure. Now, apparently from what I have heard, this is meant to be a generic Kong figure. So I don't think it's based on any of the movie Kongs, but going by the appearance and the likeness, it seems to be based on the 1933 Kong, the original. That's what everybody seems to be saying and go by the accessories and the second head, I can see that, yes, it is meant to be the 1933 King Kong. Although he's got some of the legendary Kong's likeness, so you could say that this Kong is a mixed hybrid between 1933 and 2017. So what do I think of the figure? Well, for NECA's first attempt at the eighth one of the world, I think it looks fantastic. He has a lot of detail to him, and you take one look at this beast, and you say, yep, yeah, that's him, that's King Kong. He may not be King Ghidorah, and he's definitely not King Caesar, but he is without doubt King Kong. And since he's going to appear in the MonsterVerse next film, Godzilla vs Kong, which I'm very hyped for by the way, I think this is a perfect time for NECA to make a figure of King Kong, even though this is a generic Kong, not the Monsterverse Kong M. You know what I'm talking about. We can see in all these images that the figure will be pausable, and like you saw earlier, he will also come with interchangeable hands and an interchangeable head. Also on Bloody Disgusted, it even says that this is Necker's first Kong figure, so I don't know whether or not they will be making other incarnations of the character like they do with Godzilla, or this is going to be an only exception. I suppose it depends how well the figure does. You may also remember that last year I did a thoughts and opinions video on NECA's Rodan. As you know, I said I was going to buy it, and I did, because it appeared in the Christmas haul video, and I plan to do a review on it someday. But with Kong here, on one hand I would like to say, yes, I will be getting the figure. But at the same time, there's one thing that's sort of putting me off. Apparently, they say it's going to be 7 inches tall. So, it makes me wonder, is this Kong figure going to be in scale with NECA's Godzilla figures? Or is he going to be slightly taller? I don't know, I'd rather see an image of this figure along with a Godzilla figure, doesn't matter which incarnation, side by side, and then I could decide whether to add this guy to the collection or not. So, I'd rather wait and see. Unless, of course, in the upcoming movie, Kong is taller than Godzilla, then fair enough. Well, there we go, guys. Those are my thoughts and opinions on NECA's first King Kong figure. I think it looks great, absolutely fantastic. And you can also check out my thoughts and opinions on NECA's Rodan, which the link to that video will be in the description below, as well as the review on the Playmates King Kong figures that I did back a few years ago when Kong Skull Island was in the theatres. This is Dragonzilla sign out. Hope you all take care during these difficult times. Stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.